What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Spur. We're back at it with more American Truck Simulator gameplay. It is Friday. I hope you guys had a great week. An even better weekend. We are in my all-time favorite uh, mod for ATS, the Kenworth K100. For free, own the Steam Workshop. Like, you can't find a better truck than this. If you like old school, then this is a truck for you. Like, this is a must-have. You can't play American Truck Simulator without having this truck. Like, it's blasphemy. It's just, you can't do it. Uh, we also have a really nice Barrett slat side trailer to go with it. That is also a mod. I got it off a third party site. Don't ask me where because I can't remember. I, <laughs> I honestly can't. It's been a while back. Had it for a hot minute. I can't remember where I got it. Uh, also, the K100, uh, we got the stretch frame on it today. Very, very nice. This truck's actually based on uh, a real life Kenworth K100 that I've uh, found some pictures of. So a really super sweet truck. It's pretty dang close. It's pretty close. So there's a few things that are off. I think the lights on the bumper are a little different, but uh, other than that, it's close enough. We are going to be doing some bull hauling. We're, I think we're hauling cattle from uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, up into Wyoming to uh, Salt Lake City. So that should be a really nice trip. It's going to be eight hours, so we should be able to get it all done in uh, one go. Uh, we'll get uh, just about the entirety of uh, I-80, so that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. All right, let's uh, close that down. Let's pull up GPS. Let's hop in the truck, and uh, we'll get going. Let's get track of our situated here real fast. All right, there we go. I think that is good to go. Uh, we're, okay, I see how we oriented now. Nice. All right, let's drop her in first. Let's uh, release the parking brake. We'll have to get some fuel before we leave. That is for sure. We need to get some fuel. There's another Barrett slat side. Man, everyone's pulling those today. Nice. Love my uh, bull hauling. Six in the morning, too. Getting a nice early start on the farm here. Oh, what a good looking truck, man. What a good looking truck. The uh, the stretch frame, though, you negate all the uh, all the benefit of having um, a slat or a, a a cab over. Oh shoot! How do we get out of here? Like I don't know. All right, there we go. I think we finally got her turned around. How y'all like those mud flaps too? Those are pretty sweet. We got our uh, completely customized uh, K100. I love it. Man, I'm telling you guys, if I had like a crazy amount of money to blow, if I just, if money grew on trees, I, everyone, <laughs> everyone thinks that, right? If money grew on trees, uh, I would buy an old K100. I absolutely would. I don't, I'm talking about real life. I don't know what I would do with it. Uh, but I would absolutely buy one. I'd have to figure out something to do with it. Have it uh, fixed up and looking nice. Probably a lot like this one. This is just a really super sharp truck. Look at all the, <laughs> the uh, dogs sitting there. The German Shepherds. I've never noticed that. I love the little details. Oh, this place is going to be a pain to get out of, too. Yeah, it is. Let's see, what do we got? We clear that way, and we clear this way. We can go ahead and ease our own out. Yeah, it's, it may not be too bad. Get our own to show you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. we got plenty of room. It's kind of a pain to get in when I brought it over here to uh to load she was a bit of a pain oh she sounds good uh she's got an n14 it's probably usually i put around 450 to 550 horsepower in these trucks so get ready to turn left somewhere in there i couldn't tell you exactly what it is but it is the uh, Z-Mods N14 sound. Sounds really, really nice. Always does. Love that one. I have another N14 as well. It doesn't sound quite as good, but uh, it's like uh, it figures it would turn uh, it would turn green as soon as we stop. I'm 
All right, we're trying to be easy with these cows back here. We don't want to bruise them up. We don't want to stress them and bruise them too much. Too bad we didn't have like a, a comfort meter for them. That'd be cool. Or I uh, have sound like a sound mod for your trailer that has them uh, moving and carrying on. So the rougher you get with them, the louder they get. Stomping around and doing all the things. Dropper in six high for now. I'm back out. Man, this is just such a good looking truck. I don't have uh, a lot of customized trucks in ATS. In fact, this is on my old profile, believe it or not. This is on the OG, the one I had so much trouble with. I went back through it and deleted a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I, uh, I deleted a lot of mods. I deleted a lot of trucks that weren't doing anything that were just like sitting around and stuff like that. So hopefully, hopefully that's gonna help. I haven't run into any more issues, knock on wood with his profile left and then turn left so we'll just have to see ah uh, we're gonna need uh, we need fuel like fuel we got a service station turn right there left. but that one's gonna be a pain in the butt to uh to get in and out of in fact let's look at the map real quick let's see what do we got uh yeah okay yeah i got a big truck stop up in uh cheyenne we'll just we'll stop there we should make it shine, no problem. All right, any time now, be nice. I'll take that light anytime. Oh, come on, you didn't give me a turn signal, really? That was lame, that wasn't very nice at all. There we go. As I say, I'm not above running that. If we have to, we'll run it. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there forever. See if we can float her a little bit. I was having a hard time floating her earlier today. I think I'm just out of practice because it's been almost two weeks. been a while beautiful Colorado look at that it does it looks amazing it looks so good turn right nice KFC Home Depot Maybe we don't grab that curve back there all right we're good with that That says, let's go. Oh man, I love that slat side too. That's a good looking trailer. That looks really sharp. I have the uh, traditional Wilson as well too. I don't really care for that. Man, I need to start paying attention. I don't really care for the uh, the cow trailers, uh, the default ones that they added to the game. I I don't know. They they don't look that great to me. There's something about them that just doesn't look right. Uh, they I mean they're definitely a generic looking cow trailer. So I like this. I definitely like this one. I like the Wilson that you can get too. 
The uh, the lights are messed up on the Wilson though. Like at night, they're real blown That's out. Right. Yeah, they don't look that great. Now we can drop the hammer and get on it. Next stop, fuel. Gotta get that diesel. Get in. Get. Get. <laughs> she don't want to go. I can't float worth a damn today for some reason. I really don't know why I can't. Like, I may as well just give up. You just don't want to do it. It's either me or it's probably me. It's me. I just can't do it. My timing is all kind of off today. Wyoming guys, welcome to Wyoming. Looking forward to Texas. I absolutely cannot wait until Texas comes out. We're gonna do so much bull hauling in Texas, it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it because one, you know, of course I live in Texas. Um but two, like another really big reason is the fact that every time they do a new state for the game, they raise the bar as far as like scenery and detail every single time without fail. So I'm really excited to see like uh, what it looks like, uh, you know, how detailed it's going to be, what the scenery techniques look like, how they've improved and stuff like that it should be amazing. I don't see how it can't be. It should be absolutely amazing. All right, way station's open. We're going to go in. I knew it. Where is this at? This isn't that janky one where you have to like get off the, no, okay, I see now. Come on, Clint. Don't freak out, dude. Just going in the way station. We'll be right back on. There we go. Let's see what we weigh today. 72,773. Okay. It's not too bad. Got some beefy cattle back there. They have to yield, so we're good with that. Oh, this is our waste, or not our waste station, our uh, fuel stop up here, so. We'll just take it. Yeah, it's Clint. You'll be all right, dude. Just don't freak out, man. Uh, Clint loses it. Like, if you venture off the beaten path, he uh, he loses it big time. Like, he doesn't care for that at all. Okay, let's find a new route. Go straight. All right, how do we go around back? I think, yeah, I'll go around back there. 
And I need to, uh, I need to lower that window down. It's got that sun glare on it. Make it I'm messing with me a tad. Alright, let's see. Which one are we going to go in here? Oh, it's the other way. We got to circle around. Never mind. Okay. It'll just cut through. There's nothing going on here today. Man, it's empty. Everyone's out driving. Everyone's out driving. They're getting in miles. Yeah, let's go this one right here. Alright, take her out of gear, put it in park, kill the engine. Someone was telling me about a trucking game that's coming out for Alaska. Someone in our Discord uh, said you could actually like get out and interact with the truck. I would love that if they did that with ATS. I think that'd be really cool. All right, there we go, 721. And let's kill the parking brake. I came in a little bit at an angle. We're gonna have to, have to watch that. Looks like we're good back there. I can't honestly can't tell. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, we curved it a little bit. That'd be all right though. Loves, pretty nice looking truck stop. Another mod on the Steam Workshop. If I tell anyone, I ever, once in a while I get people to ask about mods and stuff like that where I get them. For the most part, they're all on Steam. Like, you know, there's a few that I have that aren't on Steam, like this Barrett Slat side, but. Most everything is on Steam. Like, there are tons and tons and tons. On Steam, a lot of really good ones. A lot of like at least the the real basic ones. Got it. Make sure we don't. Ah, right, there we go. We're good. We're golden. Let's get on it. Let's drop the hammer. Floater a little better on that one. One more time. There we go. I'm kind of getting back on floating it a little bit there. Keep left. 
There we go. Yeah, I'm getting back in my groove. It's just been a minute. All right, well, we're on I-80. Got 405 miles to Ogden. This is a good little trip. I love this trip. I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Wyoming at first, but it's really kind of grown on me. Not a bad state. It's a law. Save life. Buckle up. I remember as a kid, we never used our seat belts. Like never, always got the mom arm. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about, the mom arm, right? Like anytime, uh, anytime your mom's driving a car, she had to get on the brakes, that arm would come out. Like it's gonna restrain you, right? Like it's gonna do anything. I remember riding with my grandparents and riding like on the center console of the car. <laughs> like it's how much times have changed. Oh man, she's dragging up this hill. Yeah, she is. Happy Jack Road. I'd love to go to Wyoming sometime. I've never been there. Maybe one of these days. Now we got the downhill grade. Oh uh, yeah, much better floating them now. It's starting to catch on a little bit here. Oh, we got 65, really? I was about to wander up tight and then the speed limit dropped on me. It's been a while since I've been on this road. There you go. We'll do a little exterior driving here. Hopefully I won't wreck her. It's hard. It's a lot harder than it looks. At least it is for me. So sharp. He's a good looking truck. Now I said before, cab overs are like the buffalo. They were plentiful. They roam the highways everywhere and now they're all gone. Pretty much. Every once in a while you'll see one. I see them around here. There's not a lot, though. So I read, I read ATS is testing a new patch. They're going to have a new update coming out. Sounded all right. Uh, it had some good stuff in it. They're going to get the drop deck, uh, freeware drop deck trailer added to the game. Uh, the one thing that uh, I'm really not looking forward to is once again, they're going to be messing with the settings for... Um, what are y'all doing? What are you doing? They're going to be messing with the settings for uh, force feedback on the steering wheel, and I hate that because I've kind of got it where I like it. It's not perfect. I wish I could get it a little bit better, but um, it's better than what it was. It took me a long time to get it tweaked and adjusted the way I wanted, and then now they're uh, they're going to be messing with it again, evidently. So I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to suck because I'm afraid I'm going to have to start all over again. I hope not. I definitely hope not. That really sucked. It was really hard to get it dialed in right. I don't know why. It just...
we'll have to see about setting some crews real quick here without running her off the road. There we go. All right, there we go. Got some crews going. I have to worry about that no more. Travel Plaza, nice. I've never been up there before. Yeah, I never have. Never taken that exit. You make some more trips on I-80. Yes, profile seems to be doing a lot better now since I cleaned out those mods. Like I said, I deleted a bunch of trucks that were just sitting around. I've got trucks that are being driven to uh, generate cash. That's how I wound up with 170 million. Well, I, I did the cheat first. I cheated. Cheated the money up and the uh, XP so I could just buy whatever trucks I wanted and all that stuff. And then uh, once I did that, got a little money I turned it off and uh, hired drivers and they've just uh, they've done their thing since and they've earned me a ton of money like the money just rolls in so there we got 294 miles uh, four hours and 56 minutes almost five hours Honestly, I don't know what time we left out. I guess we left out at six this morning. We may not worry about hours of service on this one. I may just do it all in one go. we're not going to make it we should have i don't know why we didn't i can't remember exactly what the hours came out to be but oh no it's 11 a.m never mind never mind i always look at the wrong clock that's the estimated arrival clock i always i always look at that wrong never mind uh spurs an idiot i'm not like i don't know what i'm doing why am i even driving it's 11 a.m we got plenty of time that's more like it i was like we should make this easy why is it like so freaking late Now I see, because uh, I wasn't reading it right. Fur can't read a clock. It, it's misleading. You see it just first glance, you're like, that's what the time is, but it's not, it's the top right corner. The other one is the estimated arrival, so yeah, we'll get there in plenty of time. I thought it was like an eight hour trip or something, it's not too bad. Oh man, that's a nice big truck stop over there too. Man, that's one thing, I'm glad they started doing that. Uh, if you guys didn't play this originally when it came out, like all we had were just like little tiny mom and pop gas stations, you know, service stations. They're always such a pain in the butt to get in and out of. And we didn't have truck stops, but uh, the guys that developed this game, they're from overseas somewhere. Like they don't know, they didn't know, you know, they didn't know the true like American experience on the interstate, right? So, I don't even know if they came over here and researched before they released this game. Like, I kind of wonder. I know they have since. Like, they, you see them announce that they've made trips over here for uh, research and stuff like that. So, I know they do now, but, like, originally, I don't even know if they did. Like, I don't think so. They evidently definitely didn't stop any truck stops when they first released the game because, like I said, they were all tiny. Like, we didn't really have any good truck stops. That's a huge part of the experience. Like when you're driving on the interstate, I mean, I don't drive a rig. I've never driven one in real life, but I've done lots of traveling on the interst in interstate, you know, and that's like, even for people in four wheelers, you just stop at some of these really big, nice truck stops. That's just where you stop. <coughs> I know when we're traveling with the kids long distance, we like to stop at some of the big ones because, uh, you know, some of them have like multiple eating options and stuff like that, so real nice to have
there rdl doubles nice i need to put that mod back in that gives them the um brett cab go with the trailer Feeling we'll need to hop over in that other lane. Let's do that real fast. Another crazy bus. All right, we hop back over. I have to start looking at a, a shifter. Uh, like I said, I've got an eight shifter. It's just stock. I just want one of the deals that you can uh, add to it that makes it more like a rig with the splitter and all that. We have to see about that. That would be a really nice upgrade, I do believe. It's kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain the way the setup is now. It works, but it's not ideal. Sixty-five. I don't know why. You know what? We're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna go with it if we can. Uh, we may have to slow up. Come on. Just hop over. Did you want to let me over? You see my blinker. What kind of truck is that up ahead of us there? The white with the red. Little America. We stop. Oh, we've stopped there for whatever reason. Another big, huge man. They love the truck stops in Wyoming. Like ATS uh, SES software went all out on them here. <laughs> they got tons of huge truck stops. All right, let's see. We get back over. Yes, we can. Let's get back over. Let's get up here on this dude. See who this is. Who is that? I don't know. I bet this is a gorgeous drive in real life. Over Sherman Hill back there, I bet it, I bet it's spectacular. I think it really is. We got Texas coming up next, and then uh, Montana. Montana will be a good one too. I'm really stoked about Texas. I mean, don't get me wrong, Montana is going to be good too. Like I said, I'm originally from Texas. I was born in Fort Worth. Uh, lived in the Panhandle for several years. Uh, I've seen like pictures of Amarillo for the uh, expansion, and it looks dead on. Like I've seen landmarks in those pictures that I absolutely recognize. I know exactly where they're at, what they are. Like the uh, BNSF Yard Tower, uh, that's right up against the I-40 bridge over Junior Yard. They've got that, that's dead on. They got the big Texan, like that's, you can't mistake what that is. Uh, the interchange, I think if I remember correctly, the interchange with, uh, I, what is it, I-27 down to Lubbock, that was pretty close. So I saw all these places that I recognized, like right off the bat. I was born down in Fort Worth, so you know, I'm familiar with DFW. Uh, I saw some pictures, you know, definitely the Dallas skyline looks really good. It's sad, the Dallas skyline in ATS looks better than Dallas skyline in, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Like, <laughs> I never forget the first time I flew over Dallas 
in uh, FS 2020. I was so incredibly disappointed. They didn't even have Reunion Tower. That's like blasphemy. How the hell can you have Dallas and not have Reunion Tower? You know, like, you can't do that. I was like, get out of here with that mess. You can't do that. <laughs> it's, it was bad. So, uh, yeah, the Dallas skyline looked really nice. I've just, I think I've seen the one skyline picture. I don't think they've really done a lot of pictures from um, BFW, but. Amarillo was like, it looked really good. I was actually quite surprised. I was, I was surprised to uh, see the yard tower by the bridge because like I said, it's like right up against it. It's not, it's abandoned. Like they haven't used it in years, but uh, it's right up against the I-40 bridge. Like I dare say, you could probably jump off the bridge and just grab onto the yard tower. Like it's just like literally right there at it. So that looked really good. And uh, it was cool seeing places that I recognize. Like I've never been to Wyoming. I couldn't tell you if this is accurate or not. I mean, I know they definitely captured the feel of it. That's kind of what I default to. Like if I'm not familiar with the area, well, does it capture the feel of the experience of what I think it would be in my head? And they definitely did that. Oh, we gotta go in again, really? Man, what's up with that? We literally just weighed, guys. Like, why do we go? Like, why do we got to go in again? Keep left. All right, let's see. A little bit more with the fuel. Just a hair. ABF, nice. Dude, let me over, let me over, let me over. No, you're gonna do it. There you go. Good job. Oh, we're fixing to head to Ogden. Okay. Crossed into uh, Utah a little while ago. Didn't even realize it. Turn right. Ogden, on our way to Ogden, 45 miles out. We'll be there in no time. There we go. Floated that one down all right. I'm kind of back in it. I think I'm just out of practice. It's been a while. It's a different truck, too. It's like every time you change trucks and engines, it throws you off just a little bit. At least it does me. Let's hop back out one last time and take a bigger truck before we end our trip here. Man, she looks good. Let's get on the other side there. Oh, she looks so good with that Barrett sat side. Like, it just it goes together. Like french fries and ketchup, right? Like, it just goes together perfect. Lighting's not that great right here. Lighting's best to move. Why you gotta do that, Mother Nature? Like, <laughs> you need to cut me some slack. I need, I need you to cut me some slack so we can admire my truck here. Keep right. Then exit right. Yeah, let's hop back in. Exit 
right. Go straight. We're almost there, like in no time. In Utah. I knew it, I knew it would do that. Knew it would do that, it never fails. Does it happen, you guys that drive trucks in real life, does that happen to y'all a lot? I imagine it does, that sucks go so straight. bad. Come up to like, go through all those gears and then like have to, you know, as soon as you get ready to stop, like it's like, up oh, green, Never mind. just keep going. I don't know. Maybe it's not that big of a deal in real life, but it sucks to me. I'm like, man, I just went through all those gears to stop, and now I got to go through all these gears to start back. I guess it's just part of it. That visor is like blocking our lights there. Such a good looking truck. I hadn't even shown you guys the interior that that much, but man, it just like this could be payware. It absolutely could be a payware truck. It looks so good. Oh, we're taking these rail export. Why in the world would we drive these all the way from <laughs> Colorado to uh, Utah to Ogden just to load them on a train? Like, that makes no sense. That makes no sense to me at all, but you know, I get paid either way. They haven't, uh, they haven't hauled livestock by rail in ages, like years and years and years. I think some last one, last like major long haul livestock that they did was back in the early nineties. They hauled pigs from um, Nebraska down to uh, LA for Farmer John for hot dogs and made hot dogs out of them. Oh, did it change on me? You know what, screw it, I don't care. We'll go with it. But yeah, they did that. They hauled pigs. That was, I think they stopped doing that back in 94, if I remember correctly. Get ready to turn right. All right, let's, uh, let's get our flashers going and we're about to swing her out. Turn right. If I remember correctly, this place is kind of a pain. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. We got room. It's all over now. Well, we got, uh, you know what? Let's play it safe. I don't want to bother backing this damn thing up. Let's just go with it. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. We'll just drop it off uh, at the crane. It looked like back there. Yeah, we cleared it. Okay, we're good. I used to love watching them load these when I worked for the railroad. I used to uh, watch them up in Birmingham. Used to go into a BNSF yard up there, and uh, sometimes we would stop beside where they load these trailers at. It's cool to watch them do it. Hmm, 
Damn, the guys are right on top of the rails there. Not gonna let me have it like how close we need to get oh we're not yeah we're not in there good yeah they're not gonna like that at all okay well let's pull her ahead i was like why aren't you giving it to me that would be why we're not in there straight they'd be finicky about it like <laughs> they'd be finicky about it all right let's back her in And driving on these tracks is like really bumping my uh, my steering around. Look at that. Yeah, it's jostling it like crazy. That is, damn, that sucks. Wish I had a wheel cam. I want to do a wheel cam sometime for you guys so you can see, but man, it's really like throwing my, uh, throwing my steering wheel everywhere. better there we go nice they like that one let's take her out of gear hit the parking brake it's gonna do it guys welcome to uh ogden made it to ogden our beautiful uh kenworth k100 cab over like i said you find it for free own the, uh, the Steam Workshop. Just do a search for K100. You'll find it. No problem. Barrett Slat side. It's off third party site. I, like I said, I can't remember where I got that thing. You might could do a search on Google for uh, Barrett Slat side for uh, ATS and find it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the truck. Uh, let me know what your favorite is in ATS. Thank you all for the love and support, man. It, it just blows me away how the channel is doing. Really do appreciate it. Love all you guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the road next time. Peace.